Uh, from one Manchester to another, the Man City boss, Pep Guardiola, is expected to leave the club next season, according to reports that came out over the last 24 hours. Mm-hmm. What do you make of that? Well, you can't stay there forever. No, we can't. You are right. It's kind of... But you can and stay there for close to ever, like Fergie did or Wenger did. Yeah, modern. I don't think managers... Well, modern day managers, they don't, do they? I mean, what's he done there, Klopp? Ten? No, nine, yeah, nine, but yeah. Nine. Pep's going to do ten. Yeah. yeah, it feels... I don't know, maybe you just... You reach... A level, and, and I think Klopp perhaps saw the writing on the wall a little bit. You know, felt that he got the most out of this squad. Do you think that? Do you think Pep's decision is based on him thinking, I don't think I'll keep doing this? It's getting tougher and tougher and tougher. No, I, I think I, I'm not sure Pep thinks like that, but I, you know, what, what he's, he's achieved the ultimate, hasn't he, really? The, the treble, oh, right? Yeah. He's, and then he nearly done the double double, which before, you know, that's only a thing even Scotland, yeah. isn't it? Double, yeah. treble, treble, double, treble, yeah. whatever it is. But I don't know, maybe... I think there does come a time where you, you exhaust what you're doing at a club. You've got to keep refreshing the squad. The same voice keeps saying the same things, trying to demand the same of each player every time. And I don't know, I, it must be so... Especially the intensity that these guys are at work at now. They are... It is... I know it's always been this way, but now it's driven by other things, such as data and... and Stats and things, and there's so much more to the game. It feels now mm. than there ever was. Mm. You go back 30, 40 years ago. It was. A, it felt it's a more simpler to, yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Now I think there's demands on these managers. Are they're so intense? It's going to be very interesting to see who they line up, isn't it? Well, to, to carry. It's very rare, if at all, it ever happens that you can dominate for a decade. Mm. The manager goes, and that domination carries on. I think they're in a good place, though, City. What I will say is the way they're structured, and you and I spoke about this earlier, about how football feels like it's changing, about getting the the boardroom. At, they want the, the, the structure of the club, if they can get the top right, they feel as though that they, it, it will work in the dressing room. 30 years ago, it's about getting the manager right and then yeah, working around him. I disagree with that. We had this chat ever so yeah, briefly before. For me, it's still about the manager. It's still about the dressing room. You can have the greatest boardroom structure in the world. But if the player and the manager don't get along, it's not working. Well, I think that the theory is if we get that part right at the top, the structure, so Texie or Thexie, whatever his name is at Manchester City, mm. if that's right, it should then be easier to replace Pep because everything else at the club is in place. I don't get that. Well, that's how... That's I how, don't get it. That's how things are being structured now. You know, it's, it's, I, man management is what it's about. If you don't get on with the manager, you ain't going to perform as if you do. Doesn't matter what the ballroom looked like. Well, it hasn't, well, that, that, I don't think there's any connection no. between a good ballroom and whether or not a team is successful. It's all down to the manager. I, but I think I'm not sure these are managers now. These are these are now head coaches. I think the game's changing. I think we're now starting to see football in this country. But it's, it, well, look look at the names that are being linked. When 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 would Manchester United ever be linked with a Championship manager? Right? When would Chelsea are you talking ever about be? A company? No, Man United. Oh, Man United, but, United. sorry, you know, like, sorry. Like, you know, you think about companies going to buy Munich. What? It feels a very strange time right now. Normally, Bayern Munich would be fishing in a very different pool. And now, so Chelsea, you know, yeah, but, I don't you, know what's but, happening, but you, so It feels you, very odd. Well, but you're going for Enzo Maresca, right? Yeah, it looks well, like that's, that's going to... Okay. Which is going along the lines of what you're talking about, right? The ballroom gets in place and then they get Enzo Maresca. Yeah. There's no proof yet no. that that works, that structure. I personally don't think it will. But then, you know, it wasn't that long ago people were saying, can you imagine going to Sir Alex Ferguson when he turned up in like the late yeah, 80s? Yeah. You're going to have a director of football. He would have said, it's a you. That's get, right. Get. That's right. But now, yeah. directors of football are considered one of the most important. Why, why are Man United considering paying for compensation to Newcastle? Yeah. Think about that. I, I know, That's but, insane. But, but, I, but no one, and this is a fact, right? No one actually knows what a director of football does. We don't know whether or not they, they purely, on their own, identify a player, go and do the deal and get him, or they're the person responsible for doing the deal when the manager identifies I think, it. We, I think that they're involved in all of that. Yeah, I maybe think they, maybe they, run, they are. I think that these guys now, in the, I think they run the club and the owners so Ratcliffe's coming in he, and he's, this is a new way of thinking of running a business yeah but if you're if you're looking at uh, um, Dan Ashworth right yeah. and if you've got someone like let, let's let say you've got um, let's say you've got okay even Eric Ten Hag right. okay yep. you you can't tell me that Dan Ashworth is in a better situation has a better football brain for knowing what Man United need to to push them on than a football manager. 
can't, it can't happen. We had um, Ashley Young in the studio, yep. right? I heard it. And allu- it was brilliant. And alluded to the fact, and not even alluded, spoke about the fact that the problem Man United had when they started going wrong was when Ed Woodward came in. Mm. And who's the other... Who's the uh, MD that left recently? I can't remember his name. Remember the one that's filmed uh, in a no, pub talking? No. Oh, um, yes, I, yes, I know you... Um, Who was that? Uh, yes, go on. Go on, I, okay. I know you talked about it. Yes, and, they, yeah, and he yeah, was yeah, talking... Yeah. The re- Edwards, no, 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 no. The reason no, that Man United went wrong no. is because those two were responsible for the players coming into the club, right? No, I'll tell you why they went wrong. Because David Gill left the club and there was no joined-up thinking. David Gill and Sir Alex left at the same time. And that what they had there, that working relationship, yeah. was brilliant. Yeah, but because... And they Sir left Al- and they started yeah, again. because Sir Alex identified the players he wanted and David Gill got the, the job done. Right, OK. You, that- you, you can't tell me that if Enzo Mresca goes into Chelsea, yeah. right, mm-hmm. and he's looking at his team mm-hmm. and they go out and go, we've just bought you Raheem Sterling. Yeah. I, know, I know he's a Chelsea player. He goes, well, I, don't want, I don't need... I need a centre-half. Well, we don't think you do. We... Right. Well, how, that's, how do you think right. that manager is going to deal with that? Right, because either you agree with it or you go. I, I know, and but that, if, but so if you want success, right, you have to get the right manager. Yes, but the right manager is going to be agreed by the board. So the board have a structure of the way that the club's going to look like in two, three, four, five, six years' time. So the manager is coming in to do a job, and that job is to be a head coach. What you can't have is that manager so that, influencing what. So there's so a, that's here's a very American setup. Well, that uh, that you look at what's happening around you. But look that, at how but, but it you, feels as though that's where football is going right, right but, now. But there is second. there is nothing in the English game to suggest that will work. Yeah, but nothing in the English game su- suggested that a director of football would work. Look at Man City. Man City have... Yeah, but they, we don't know the role of a director of football, so it's very difficult no, to... But, that, but that, what I'm saying about Man City right now, they feel, because they've got everything set in place at the very top... And they've got Pep, they, they have got Pep. But what I'm saying is, I think that, that, that Pep... If you talk about when Klopp's going, we'll see what Slot does. When Sir Alex left, we saw what Arsene Wenger did. They had too much control. Arsene Wenger had too much control. Uh, Sir Alex right. Ferguson let, had too much let, control. Let. So what they're doing, they're taking that away from the manager... Everything's structured, everything's set in place. So it, the, the dream is that Pep leaves and because the structure is in place at the yeah. top and the players coming, that that should be more seamless. Right. But, but A, there's no proof that that will ever happen. Football's not like any other sport. Mm-hmm. And also, it's always been about the manager, how good the manager is, OK? A prime example, Aston Villa, Steven Gerrard, couldn't do it. Virtually the same players, Unai Emery comes in, gets some Champions League football. Right. And that, that, and that, ha- that has nothing to do with the ballroom. No, no, no. But it's it's getting the right man for the right job there. We'll see what happens between now and next season and how things go. But I'm not saying that's a one-off. That's, you know, that's an example. But I can give you plenty of examples of where managers have come in. And, I mean, the best two, the, the biggest clubs in the country, or two of, Arsenal and United, and those managers stayed there for so long. And what you found was the DNA of their structure was so ingrained, it took years, years, and many nights are still in it, to get out of that. And that's what they don't want. That's what clubs don't want. That's why... It's the manager. I, I, I hear what you're saying, but it makes no sense to me. But football's, tra- football's a business now more than it's ever been. Oh, I know that, but you it's th- not like any other sport. You can't come in and get someone to effectively play Moneyball and get the, the best defender from stats, the best winger from... But, best goals to, but who would have thought Moneyball would work? You know, Moneyball's but, a system but, now. But it, that Moneyball would never work in football, well, ever. Well, Matt, Brighton. Brighton, there's a, that's why Brighton's the best-run club, because they do run it off stats. They do. That's why Brighton is, is the best... They say they're the best-run club in the country, right? Everyone says it. Well, right. If, but that's how they're doing it. And that's the model. That's why Chelsea are so fixated, because it works, it's run. OK, last season they had a hiccup. But actually, the structure of the club, from Potter into Deserby... They, they didn't finish top ten, Brighton. No, but I'm saying... But you think about... But they're bright, they're little Brighton. Imagine United did it right. Imagine but, the financial muscle. Yeah, but, they but, but they why, do it that But way. why did Brighton get it right? Because they had the right manager? Yeah, because they... No, because the structs... Because they, they it was seamless from Potter to Deserby was seamless. Okay, they had a bad season last year. Look, they had a lot of injuries, as a lot of teams did, but they suffered more than most. No, I, 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 I honestly can't understand why you think it's anything other than... It, for me, it's, all it is is the manager. Yeah, but they're not managers anymore. These are head okay, coaches. Uh, okay, it's the fellow that picks the team. These guys now, here's the team. You... It won't work. You, it will never, ever work. But, but then you could argue Eric Ten Hag bringing Anthony in and Casemiro didn't work because now, if he does go, you're now lay, you're now lumbered with players that were his idea, yep. not the board, not the structure. Yeah, I know, but so if the th- board are bringing in the wrong players, it doesn't matter what manager comes in. Well, then they, they, well, that's why Chelsea are going from Potter to Frank 
left they left Tusha wasn't on board so they're, they're not getting it right yet but there's definitely but, a strong all the managers you mentioned yep. Tuchel's the best yeah, no, but and t- you got rid of him yeah but he wasn't on board and that's and that's now. Well, maybe how... the board should have realised how good yeah, a manager he was and bent no... over backwards but to keep they, him. But then there's no point left in the structure. Well, what, what's most important, winning trophies or having a structure? Well, the, okay, the, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You won the Champions League in twenty in oh one. Twelve. Three. Twenty one. Twenty one. Last one. Oh one. Oh twenty one. Sorry. 21, 21. Three years ago. Yeah. Right. Just a yes or no, and yeah. then you can elaborate. Yeah. If you would have kept kept Thomas Tuchel and let him rebuild and do it his way, yeah. would you be in a better or worse place than you are now? Well, but when here's what you got to remember. What's your answer no, to no, that no, first? But, it, but it's impossible because Roman left. No, but Roman, what's your, what what no, do you Roman, think if you would have kept but, Thomas Tuchel? But Roman left, and Roman ran the club in a very different no, but, way. No, 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 we'll come to that in no, a minute. But, but what what do you un, think under Roman? No, no, no. If if Bowley would have come in as he did, yeah. and because st- it was him that got rid of Thomas Tuchel. Yeah. If he would have kept Thomas Tuchel, simple question. Yeah. There's no right. You don't know the answer yeah. to this. No. In your opinion. If Tuchel stays after you win the Champions League, are you better or worse than you are now? Well, a lot of people rem- do not remember the, the results and performances under Tuchel under the new owner. Leeds away, we were shocking. Okay, Southampton but, away, but shocking. What, but no, what, no but, fine, but what do you think? Well, I think you must have I, an opinion on that question. No, but, because, no, but under Roman, no, yes. No, no, I, no, no. But, I'm not but, moving goalposts. But you have to because no, 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 it's... No, 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 no. Thomas Tuchel was fired by Todd Bowley. But it's... And, and Ed Barley, yes, yes. Right. It's a yes, very simple question. Yes, it genuinely yes. is a simple question. No, no, I know. I'm, if, I'm answering if, it as best if, I can. If Thomas Tuchel stays yes. and builds on his Champions League and does whatever he wants... But, he, but that's... See, that... No, but, it, but if no, he but, did... No, but that... I can ask... That's I a simple know, question to ask. That, do you think you'll be more or less successful? I don't know. Because What did he do at Bayern? Okay, what did he do at Bayern? Was he successful at Bayern? No, but he's going into a new squad. He's, no, got, he's already got no, his group of saying, players. No, but hold on. You saw what he did at Bayern? Was he successful at Bayern? No, but I just said he went into a new team. I know. But, but I, I don't understand why you can't answer the question. No, no, because it's... Okay, a, but, I'll answer it and then okay, you can have a go. go I think they would be better than they are now. Okay, fine. But under the new ownership, that structure is not possible. Fine. But do, but do you think if they carried on with him, they'd be better? I don't know, mate. Not the way it's structured. Because okay. you're talking about apples and pears here. I'm not. I'm you talking are. about apples and apples. No, you're talking about under Roman. I agree with you. But the Roman sex managers for fun. The way the club is structured, okay. you and I said to you earlier, you watch what Ratcliffe's doing. It's not dissimilar. He's bringing a whole new body of work in. Okay. He's looking to build at the very, very top. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.